Massive fissure opens on Mount Etna. Scientists warn a future collapse into the sea is possible. Sicily, November, 2025. At sunrise, a faint orange glow shimmered across the snow-dusted summit of Mount Etna. But it wasn't the usual burst of lava that caught scientists' attention. Instead, seismometers began to register a sharp jolt, followed by a sudden widening of a new surface crack slicing across the volcano's southeastern flank. What began as a small fracture has now stretched into a visible scar on Europe's most active volcano, forcing geologists to confront a possibility they have long feared. Etna's unstable flank may be inching closer to a catastrophic collapse into the Mediterranean Sea. A deepening crack signals a deeper problem. During the early hours of Monday morning, drones mapped a fresh fissure nearly 700 meters long, cutting across the slope toward the coastline. Thermal cameras detected heat escaping from the fracture, a sign that magmatic gases were circulating through fresh pathways underground. Beneath the surface, GPS stations recorded the flank moving several millimeters downslope in just a few hours, far above Etna's usual slow creep. For most volcanoes, such small amounts of movement would hardly be noticeable. But for Etna, a mountain already known to be slowly sliding toward the sea, this sudden acceleration triggered alarms. It's not dangerous today, said one senior volcanologist. But it shows us exactly how Etna is built on weak, unstable ground that can move faster than we expect. Gravity, magma, and the threat below the sea. Mount Etna sits atop ancient layers of loose sediments and offshore deposits that act almost like a natural conveyor belt. Over centuries, Etna's enormous weight has pushed its southeastern flank gradually toward the sea. Most of the movement happens underwater, where the volcano's submarine slope can slip silently. Scientists have recorded the flank sliding at anywhere between 1 and 14 millimeters per year. But in rare events, it can surge several centimeters in days as happened in a famous slow slip event in recent research. The concern is simple. If enough of the flank destabilizes at once, it could collapse dramatically, sending massive volumes of rock plunging into the Ionian Sea. The displacement of water could generate a tsunami capable of racing across southern Italy, Malta, and Greece. Such events have happened in Earth's past at other volcanoes. Etna, however, is closely watched, and the new crack only deepens the mystery of how close the volcano is to a threshold. Eruption signals rising from the depths. Adding to the urgency, Etna's summit crater has been showing signs of deep unrest. Satellite infrared scans reveal a rising plume of heat beneath the summit vents, indicating fresh magma moving upward. Rumblings recorded by seismographs throughout the volcano show tremor bands low rhythmic vibrations associated with magma rising through cracks. This is where the concern becomes more complex. A flank collapse does not require a major eruption. Gravity alone is often enough. But increased magmatic pressure could accelerate the slide, acting like a hydraulic jack pushing the flank outward. With new lava intruding and opening pathways, the flank becomes even more unstable, building the combination of forces that makes scientists nervous. What would a collapse look like? 
Volcanologists emphasize that such a collapse is not expected soon, but the possibility is real enough that it is part of all long-term hazard planning. A catastrophic failure would likely begin with a sudden widening of flank cracks, rapid seaward acceleration, submarine failure of the underwater slope, a massive landslide plunging into the Ionian Sea, a tsunami wave that could reach the Sicilian coast in minutes. Wave models suggest that even a partial flank collapse could generate a tsunami 10-20 meters high on local shores, with smaller but still dangerous waves spreading across the Mediterranean. Scientists race to understand the new crack. Teams from Italy's INGV National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology are now mapping the fissure hour by hour. Underwater sensors in the Ionian Sea are being checked for signs of unusual movement. Seafloor pressure meters are being analyzed for tiny changes that might indicate deformation. So far, scientists report no immediate collapse underway, a significant increase in flank movement, signs of new magma pathways beneath the fracture localized inflation near the summit crater. The combination paints a picture of a restless volcano reshaping itself. A volcano that refuses to sit still. Mount Etna has erupted for hundreds of thousands of years. It has built itself, destroyed itself, rebuilt again, and reshaped the Sicilian landscape repeatedly. The volcano's southeastern flank where cities, farms, and roads lie has always been its weakest side. Today's new crack is a reminder that Etna is not just erupting upward, it is sliding outward, slowly and imperceptibly toward the sea. Every eruption changes the balance. Every earthquake shifts the stress. Every fissure rewrites the story of a volcano that is still alive. For now, people living around Etna can continue their lives as usual. But the mountain has once again spoken in a long, silent fracture stretching across its slope, reminding scientists that one of Europe's most closely watched volcanoes still holds surprises deep within its core.